Warehouse followers today. We are playing with some pony beads. Um, and I am going to be using that um, one millimeter elastic cord. I have a couple different colors of pony beads, so we'll see what we end up playing with today. But we're going to be creating a um, kind of 3D octopus. So let's get started. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to open up my elastic cord. So I'm going to grab roughly about six feet. I'll have plenty to work with. Um, I don't want to get halfway through and not have enough cording. And we are going to go ahead and start with this purple. So we're going to put 16 beads on. And once we get these all on, we will count to double check that we have 16. I think we're about halfway there. Okay. And let's count these. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. We need one more because we got fifteen. So there's sixteen. So what we're gonna do is tie this end off. So I kind of loop around across the cords and I take the loose end and wrap it around twice and pull tight. And I'll repeat. So cross my cords and loop. And loop that string around twice and pull tight. So I pull tight this way and then I also want to open it and pull both the strings. So it's gonna get that knot nice and secure And then I'm going to go ahead and trim off that extra cording. If you're afraid of the knot coming undone at all, I do suggest coming in with some GS Hypo. So it has a nice little point on it and I don't even squeeze the bottle. I just kind of let the heat of my hand warm it up and I put all the glue right onto the knot. And then you just close it up through the cap. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start with this heel bead. So what we're going to do is where this cord is coming out, we'll end up skipping and going through. So we want to put one of our teal on. Let's skip and go through the next. We're gonna go ahead and grab another teal bead. We'll skip a purple and go through the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these nice and tight. So again, we're gonna grab a teal. We're gonna skip a purple and go through the next one. And then we're gonna just pull the string through so I'm going to go ahead and grab a bead. We're going to skip a purple and go right through the next. So grab a teal bead. And you should need about 16 beads for the these um, rows we're doing here. Okay, grab a teal. You're gonna skip and go over to the next. I'm gonna grab another teal bead, skip a purple and go on to the next.
going to grab a teal bead and we'll skip and go to the next. Pull this all the way through. So everything should be pretty snug. If not, you can kind of pull the cord all the way through, tightening it. Okay, so from here, this is what it's gonna look like. And we're gonna go through, our cord is coming out of here. We're gonna go through this, we're gonna go up and through this teal bead that we have here. And then we're gonna grab a teal and we're gonna go through the teal that's already there. And then we'll just keep repeating. So grabbing a teal bead stringing it through that teal bead that's already on there. Grab another one. And we're just going all the way around. I do try to make sure when I'm pulling my string through, I'm pulling as tight as I can. Grab a teal, go through a teal. And it's kind of creating this uh, pattern where you have one bead higher than the rest. And that's what we are looking for. Okay, so we're just gonna grab a bead, go through the teal. And when you go around, you're going, we're basically right where that's starting, where we put that knot to tie the purple in a circle. That's gonna be our starting and ending point every time when we kind of go in a circle here. So it helps give you kind of a good idea of how many times we're going around. Okay. It looks like we need one more. And pull this through. So you can kind of see that this is already starting to curl up on its own without me doing anything really crazy. So we're gonna bring it up to that next level of teal and I'm going to do a row of teal again. So we're going to do um, 14 of these teals, but we're going to add the eyes in this pattern. So I'm going to slide this on and we're going to go through that raised up bead. And then here's where I'm going to put the eyes in. So I'm going to come in with this. I'm gonna slide it through that raised up bead. And then we're gonna go ahead and put another black bead. And we're gonna go through that raised up teal again. Okay, so now we're just gonna finish off with teal. So I grab a teal one, hitting all those raised up teal beads. So put a bead on, gonna hit that raised up teal. Basically you're gonna skip every other, right? And this pattern is what's forming it. 
to pull tight and create a ring. Gonna keep going. So another bead. Pull the string through. And then I'm gonna go through this bead right here and pull tight. So we're right back where we started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up a level. So just raise to that raised bead. I'm gonna put my string through and pull through. And we're gonna come in with teal again. So this will complete our basically 14 beads of teal. So put a bead on, I'm going through the raised up ones. So basically still skipping a bead and going through this black one here. Look at that, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna put a bead on. It's pretty much the same pattern all the way to the end, you guys, which makes it pretty easy. Um, but there is gonna be a little trick here at the top with about eight beads to be able to kind of create the top of the head and complete the circle on this. So again, I'm just putting that bead on and going to that right and putting the cording through that raised up bead. Now, how fun would this guy be even to do them all rainbow? That would be really cute. Okay. So pull this through. Another bead. Looks like we have one more to go after this. And then we'll start on that very last piece. One more. And again, make sure on this one that you're getting this lower one and not that raised up one because this is our starting point right here. Sometimes that can be a little tricky, so just make sure you're paying attention on that last um, bead on the circle. So now we're going to go ahead and start the top. To start the next row, again, go up to that raised up bead. And what we're going to do is a little bit different here. Okay, to start this one, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go underneath the eye and up through that top teal. We're going to grab a bead. String it through that top bead. Again, the one that's just sticking up a little bit more. And then we're gonna go through two beads again. So one that drops down and one that goes up. Pull all the way through and put another bead. Basically what we're doing is we're gonna be creating four corners. So four beads that are gonna be up higher than everything and then we'll end up, that will end up um, getting beaded together and it'll end up cinching this to create a little like ball. So again, go down. Go down and up. And put another bead on. And you go through your top one. And 
And then we're gonna go down and up. Put a bead on, oops. Put another bead on. Go through your top one. And we're right back where the beginning is. So from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bead on and I'm gonna go to this top one of one of the four corners that we created. So one bead, I'm gonna go to that one. Pull all the way through. And then I'm gonna put another bead on. Go through that other top bead of the four corners. Another bead. And see this top raised one in the four corners. And we have one more to go. Into that corner. And then I like to go through that top bead again. And you just pull it and look at that. It creates that little bag. And I like this to be tight. So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just tie it off. Or what I like to do is I like to go ahead and loop right back through all the beads. What I like to do is go right back, looping through the beads that we just strung. So if you're looking at, if you're looking at this, you'll see that some of the beads have two cords going through them and some of the beads only have one. So just take the, so I'm stringing through the beads that only have one cord through them. Which is basically every other bead. And we're going to pull tight. And then we want to create the legs. So what I do is I zigzag my cord all the way down. So I go this way, I come down. And then one more bead. Okay, you guys. Now also when I'm coming down with um, my cord zigzagging it, I wanna make sure I'm on one of the beads that's kind of sticking out here. Um, and then we can go ahead and attach the legs. So I'm gonna come in with four purple here. I'm actually going to add six purple. And then we're going to come in with two of these white beads. Let's see how these legs look. Because I kind of want long legs on mine. So now we're going to come back up. We're going to skip that first bead. We're going to wiggle the cord all the way up. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through that next bead that's upwards. And then what I like to do here is make sure my beads are all the way at the end. And then you can just pull your cord through. And 
And now we can start our next leg. And you can make your legs as short or long as you want. I kind of wanted long legs on my octopus, um, but it's all gonna come down to preference here. Again, I'm putting on six of the purple. And I wanted to add just a little bit of this pearly white. I'm gonna flip the octopus over. It's easiest to work with them this way. And we are gonna string our cording right back up. All right, so we're through the last bead there. And then we wanna go right next door to that other um, bead that is taller than the rest. Slide our beads down and pull our string through. Come in with six more of the purple. And five and six and two of that pearl white. And push these all the way up. We're gonna skip the one bottom bead. And we are just gonna make our way up to the very top bead. And then again, we're gonna go through that neighboring tall one. Basically, we're skipping a bead and um, going through the next one, right? Just like we have been doing. And making it so our beads are all the way to the top so we can get that nice and tight. And then just continuing all of our legs. And I am doing some longer legs here, but you could just do um, like five beads or, I mean, heck, you could even do longer legs if you wanted. So again, beads all the way to the bottom. Skip that last bead. And just wiggle that cord all the way. If you're having a hard time getting the cord through, you can just kind of hold it steady and slide your other ones down. And then what you can do is pull, again, you gotta, once you get through the top, put it through the next, um, your next bead. And instead of just pulling, it's gonna kind of get your cord all tangled. Make sure you straighten it out and then pull your string through. In our final leg, you guys, I can't wait to flip this over and see what it looks like with all the dangly legs. Okay, and we're gonna put two white on next. And we're gonna start Skip that last bead, string up and through all the others. And then take our cord in and go through that last upward bead. Straighten out our cords, bring all of our funny beads to the top, and pull tight. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now to tie this off, you guys can do a couple different things. I am going to go ahead and I'm going to string back up through one of these. Back up through this bead here. I'm gonna keep this on the inside. So I'm gonna make sure this guy is poking through the, in the center. And then 
What I like to do is poke, kind of loop this here and poke this through one of the, um, kind of the, where the two colors change. So kind of up a little bit, I like to poke a loop through it. Then I take my end, pull it through, and then I just pull it nice and tight. And I like to do, do that again at the bottom and um, also on the inside because I won't see it. Now, I again, I'm a big believer on glue, so I'm gonna come in with that GS Hypo. Put some glue on that knot so it won't come undone for us. And usually I do let that dry fully and then you'll snip off the extra. And then look, I'm gonna set him down so you can see him like this. But look how cute he is. A little octopus guy. So darling, you guys. I could even have um, left a loop here. We could have attached a key ring, um, or I can just have this guy kind of sitting on the table next to me. Either way, oh my goodness. I love the dangly legs. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so cute. Let me know what you guys think. What color would you guys create this with? Um, I could have easily done this all purple as well but so cute and again, so easy to make. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.